want to welcome everybody to the Richland Gymnasium tonight where the Richland Rebels take on the Bernie Mules in a Stoddard County uh, conference game. Uh, both these teams come in very similar. Uh, Richland comes in with a record of nine wins, ten losses. Bernie comes in with a record of ten wins, nine losses. And uh, both teams needing a win and both teams needing a conference win. Tommy Jacobs on assignment tonight, and uh, he's out and uh, could not get back due to the ice. And so uh, Kim Stokes is going to be our camera person. And uh, Bill Hampton and myself, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to call this game for you. And uh, we expect a good ball game. Folks, it is extremely cold outside. It's Tuesday night, February the 13th, and the wind chill is down close to zero. We expect a barn burner tonight from the uh, Richmond Gymnasium. Both these teams are in need of a victory, and uh, both coaches will tell you that. Let's first talk about the Bernie cheerleaders, who they are. We have Sydney Abernathy, Jenny Eubank, Amber uh, Mirth, Sammy Palmer, Chelsea Cornwell, Alex Johnson, Ashley Mirth, Amanda Pierce, Hannah Dalk, Miranda McGowan, Maddie Owens, and Holly Wright. And for the Richland Rebels, their cheerleaders are Amanda Wheeler, Lee Wheeler, Crystal McBing, Taylor DeWitt, Kaylee Evans, Haley Waters, Amy Jones, Marky Roberts, Leanna Mowry, Kendra Williamson, Jennifer McBinge, Tasha Lamech, and uh, Heather Kindred. And again, uh, we appreciate uh, those girls and all that they do. Those cheerleaders work extremely hard, and we like to give them uh, their adieus. Richland Rebels come in, as I said, with a record of nine wins, ten losses. Casey Knight is the head coach, Steve Wyman the assistant. And uh, they, uh, again, have played some great ball. They have won some uh, wonderful games this year, games they were not expected to win. And uh, they... Uh, uh, ended up winning the Constellation Championship at the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. 16 seeded team. They lost their first game to Malden. After that, they won three games in a row. It seemed like they caught fire after that. They won, won some big games this year. Bernie Mules come in with a record 10 wins, 9 losses. Brad Botch is the head coach. Mars Carnes, the assistant. And, uh, again, uh, they lost Friday night to the Malden Green Wave uh, by 29 and then got beat in overtime Saturday night on a makeup game. Uh, when they played the Camel Camels at home, and uh, that seemed to really hurt the Bernie Mules. Let's see if they can regroup tonight, come back. Again, both teams needing a, a victory tonight, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see who comes out on top. Again, we are expecting a barn burner. We're expecting a very good ball game here. Casey Knight doing a tremendous job at the helm of the Richland Rebels, his first head coaching job. Also, Brad Botch doing a great job with the Bernie Mules, his first year as head coach. He was assistant last year. He and Mars Carnes have switched duties there. Mars uh, taking the junior high team and the JV, Brad, uh, the varsity team as a head coach. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be back with you in just a minute. Well, as we said, we expect a barn burner here tonight. It is really cold outside, folks. I mean, extremely cold. Coldest weather we've had all year. And a pretty good crowd here tonight for the Bernie Mules and also for the uh, Richland Rebels. And uh, they're ready to see some basketball. The JV game just completed. Uh, JV Bernie Mules uh, defeated Richland 52-39. Richland Rebels uh, JV team had won the uh, Stoddard County Conference Tournament at Bloomfield, and they had beaten Bernie up there in the semifinals game and then turn around and, and are in the first uh, round game. They had beat uh, the Bernie Mules and turn around in the uh, finals and beat number one seeded uh, Dexter. So uh, might consider this as an upset. Uh, the JV uh, Bernie Mules getting back on the winning track. They lost uh, again to the uh, Camel Camels uh, Saturday night by one point and, uh, and now they're, they're back on the winning track. Starting lineups tonight uh, for both teams. We're going to give those to you real quickly, and then we'll give them to you as they go out on the court. Silas Dill, a 6'4 junior, will be one of the starters. He wears number 11. Doug Johnson, a 5'9 senior, wears number 24. He can light it up from the outside as well as Dill. Uh, Tyler Trover, a 6'0 senior, wears number 25. He's a very hard-nosed player. Uh, he's always around the ball, around where the action is. Chevin Pierce, a 5'8 senior, wears number 34. And Marcus Massey, a 6'3 senior, he wears number 42. As Massey goes, generally that's the way the Bernie Mules go. 
For the Richland Rebels, they're going to start with Cameron Whitaker. He's a 5'10 senior. He's been injured off and on all year, been hampered with a uh, shoulder problem, but it looks like he's back to uh, full uh, full form. Nick Harris, a 5'11 junior, wears number 14, likes to handle the ball, and a very good playmaker. He can also put the ball down if left alone. Drew Thornton, a 6-foot freshman, number 22. He's one of the better freshmen in uh, southeast Missouri. He made the all-tournament uh, team at Bloomfield during the Christmas tournament and rightfully so. Tommy Stafford, a six-foot senior, wears number 30. He's another hard-nosed player, likes to work that baseline, likes to drive it, and he's not afraid to mix it up. Eric Foster, 5'11", senior, wears number 32, likes to set up in the corner. They get the ball to him. He'll either drive or put it up from the three-point range, and another good ball player that the Richland Rebels have. Casey Knight doing a great job here for Richland. Uh, they've won several games already this year, and uh, they're a young ball club. They uh, will be a force to be reckoned with next year. I want to thank the Richland Schools for allowing Channel 21 to come up and film tonight. I want to thank Superintendent Michael Keeney, Principal Brian Huckel, and Head Coach uh, Casey Knight, Assistant Coach Steve Wyman for all their assistance in helping us get this together. And, again, we appreciate those folks. We enjoy doing these ball games. And, uh, again, uh, we appreciate you tuning in to Channel 21. This coming Friday night, you're going to be watching this game on uh, – Thursday, and the next night uh, we're going to be live from the Bernie Gymnasium when the Bernie Mules have their homecoming game against the Bloomfield Wildcats. We will be live. We will take that game, play it back on Sunday, but we will be live. Go to the game and then go back and uh, re-watch it. We will stay for the crowning festivities after the game for the uh, Bernie Mules for their homecoming, uh, homecoming festivities. Well, we're getting ready to introduce the starting lineups, and uh, let's take a short break, and we'll be right back with you. Well, as we said, both of these teams coming in, they need a win. Uh, Richland needs a win to uh, get to 500. Bernie needs a win to uh, get back on the winning ways. We're getting ready for the national anthem. The national anthem is going to be uh, sung by eighth grader Amber Tilly, and uh, we're going to stand for that. And Amber Tilly, an eighth grader here at Richland High, singing the National Anthem, did a great job. She is going to be featured on the, the race show in a couple of weeks on Channel 21. She's uh, her family, uh, Chuck Tilly, and it's uh, her mother, Donna, and also her brother, Chad, race at the Malden Speedway. She'll be racing next year in the Cruiser class in 2008. So it's a racing family, so I know you'll want to tune in for that. That should start in a couple of weeks. And we're ready for the starting lineups for tonight's game. Again, glad you've joined us on Channel 21, New Wave Cable, YHC, your hometown channel. Number 11 for the Bernie Mules, a 6'4", junior, Silas Dill. Number 25, Tyler Trover. He is a 6'0", senior. Marcus Massey, number 42, a 6'3", uh, senior. Jevin Pierce, a 5'8", uh, senior, wearing number 34. Doug Johnson, a 5'9", senior, wearing number 24.
Number 32, Eric Foster, a 5'11 senior. Number 30, a six foot senior, Tommy Stafford. Number 22, a six foot freshman, Drew Thornton. Number 14, a 5'11 junior, Nick uh, Harris. And number 10, a very good playmaker and uh, ball player, a 5'10 senior, number 10, Cameron Whitaker. Ken, uh, the Rebels, coached by Casey Knight and Steve Wyman. The Bernie Mules, coached by Brad Bodge, Morris Carnes. Referees tonight, Randy Winston, Jeremy Stevens, and Mike uh, Bertram. And uh, should see a great game, folks. Again, glad that you joined us. Let's take a short break before the jump, and we'll be right back with you. Marcus Massey will jump for the uh, Bernie Mules. True Thornton for the Richland Rebels. Mike Bertram will toss the ball up as we get ready for 32 minutes of regulation high school basketball. It's Tuesday night. We're at the Richland Gym. Again, glad that, that you're with us on YHC, your hometown channel. Bernie will control the tip. Trover has it across the timeline. He got the ball to Dill, who threw inside. Thornton batted the ball away, picked up by Whitaker. Bernie in a man-to-man. -man. Ball to Harris. He's to the free throw line. Gets the ball to try to get to Stafford and put the ball through the ball out of bounds. An unforced turnover that time on the Richland Rebels. We've got a timeout on the floor with 7.39 to go in the first quarter. And uh, again, no score. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with you. JR Shoes carries a complete line of athletic shoes for the entire family. Nike socks are available at JR's now from infant sizes through men's size 18. New Balance are also in stock in medium and wide widths. JR carries a complete line of casual shoes by Merrill, Bourne, and Clark for guys and gals. In the boot line, JR carries red wings and planar steel toe, waterproof or insulated, Double H Western work boots and Justin Double Comfort work boots with Gore-Tex. Dr. Martin Classics, Rocky work boots, Acme Kids boots, and Tony Llama and Dan Post dress boots. That's JR Shoes in Malden and Popper Bluff. Well, a very unusual timeout, very quick timeout called by Brad Botch as he wanted to know know what was going on here. He wanted his team to be aware of what's happening. Uh, I've heard my dad talk many times back when the Malden Green Wave back in the mid uh, and late 50s when they had such good ball clubs. ML McCormick would call a timeout almost every game within 15 seconds. Richland and man to man. Marcus Massey has the ball. Feeds Trover on a break down the line. He's or down the lane or the, <laughs> the back door cut there and he scores. Tyler Trover with the first bucket of the night. Mules on top. 2-0. Whitaker with the ball. He's going to drive the lane. We're going to have a push holding foul on Tyler Trover, the first foul of the game. Richland will inbound under their own basket. Foster will inbound for the Rebels. He hits Whitaker in the lane. He's going to put up a shot. He's going to score. He's going to go to the line to shoot to try to make the conventional three-point play. Foul is going to be on Silas Dill. It's his first. Dill fouled out of the game against Campbell the other night. He and Zach Curry, and boy, it hurt both teams. Or it hurt uh, hurt both teams. It helped Campbell. It hurt the Bernie Mules. Whitaker's free throw up, no good. Ball tipped around there, and Massey picks up the loose ball. Gives to Trover. Trover quickly to Dill. Dill's going to drive, stop, puts up an eight-footer, no good. Tipped up by Massey. Great move there by Marcus Massey. Good tip up. Bernie on top, 4-2 to two with seven minutes to go in the first quarter over the Richland Rebels. Bernie in blue, Richland Rebels in their home gray. Stafford with the ball. Gives it to Thornton, who's way out. Gives it over to Harris. He's going to put up a three. He scores it. Nick Harris with his first basket. Richland on top, 5-4, 6-40 to go. Bernie quickly down the floor. True Thornton bats the ball away. Richland on the run now. Ball turned over as Silas Steele picks up loose ball. Two on two. Massey with a spin move. Puts it up, scores it. Marcus Massey with a nice move that time. 
Stafford tried to pick up a charge foul. Contact made, but no call. 6.25 to go. Bernie on top now, 6.5. We expect a game like this all night. So sit back and enjoy it, folks. Get you a cold soda and a popcorn, and thank you at your trip ball game. Tree Thornton with the ball. Massey's on him. A backdoor cut to Tommy Foster, and he puts it up, or to Eric Foster. He could not make it. Jevin Pierce with the rebound. Pierce going to go coast to coast, puts it up, scores it. Chevin Pierce with his first basket. Bernie on top, 8-5, biggest lead of the night. They're up by three, inside to Thornton. He's going to go against Massey, and puts it up. We're going to have a foul called on the floor on Marcus Massey. It's going to be his first, team's third. Preston Owens and Zach Curry in for the Mules. Coming out is Dill and Pierce. Landon Miller in for the Richland Rebels. Out is Eric Foster. Whitaker with the ball out at the top. He gives the ball over to Nick Harris. Harris or uh, to uh, Landon Miller. Now to Harris. He's going to drive the lane. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by Massey. Massey's got the ball, gets it out to Zach Curry on the fly. Curry with a 12-footer, puts it up, scores it. Zach Curry with his first basket. He is a 6'3 sophomore, very good-looking sophomore. If he stays out of foul trouble, he will be a big part of this game. 5.15 to go in the first period. Bernie on top of Richland, 10-5. Down to Drew Thornton inside the lane. Ball uh, tipped around out of there by Jevin Pierce out of bounds. Nice defensive play. Good hands that time by Jevin Pierce. Landon Miller to inbound for the Rebels. He gets the ball to Thornton. Thornton bounce passes to Harris. Harris over to Stafford. Stafford back to Harris. Over to Cameron Whitaker. He's going to drive. Puts up a jump shot. No good. Rebound by Stafford on the floor. And Jevin Pierce quickly after the ball. We're going to have a foul. 34 is going to be on Jevin Pierce. His first. Team's fifth. 4.55 to go in his first period. Miller to inbound to Harris, to Whitaker, to Landon Miller. Inside to Stafford. He goes up, puts it up, scores it. Tommy Stafford, his first basket of the night. 10-7 and quickly down. Oh, oh Landon Miller batted the ball out of bounds and fell in the bleachers very hard. Oh, I hope he's all hurt. Silas still in for Jevin Pierce for the Bernie Mules. Miller looks to be okay. Watch this play. The Mules will run after after the throw in here. They give it right back or try to give it back to Dill for three. Stead uh, couldn't get it. Massey's got it. Working against Thornton. A good turnaround jump shot. No good. Rebound by Trover. Puts it up. Scores it. Tyler Trover with his second bucket of the night. 12-7. 4.25 to go. First period. Bernie on top of the Richland Rebels. Nick Harris with the basketball. He's going to drive the lane. Gets the ball out to Miller. Miller to Cameron Whitaker for three. He puts it up. No good. Rebound by Dill, and he stepped on the line. Richland will maintain pos- uh, possession. Coming into the game is Doug Johnson. Coming out for the Bernie Mules is Tyler Trover. Miller will inbound. Gives the ball out to Thornton. Thornton gives to uh, Whitaker. We're down to four minutes in the first quarter, halfway through that period. Bernie on top, 12-7. Miller with the ball, way out. Looks for someone to pass to. Steady's going to handle it. Goes inside, gets it over to Stafford. Stafford still with the ball. Quick pass into Whitaker in the lane. He puts up a jump shot, scores it. Cameron Whitaker with his second basket. It's 12-9. Massey with the ball. Richland a 2-2, one zone press. Ball in the corner, Doug Johnson for three. Puts it up, scores it. If Doug Johnson has that much time, folks, and he's on, he'll he'll get him a basket, a bushel full of points. Drew Thornton with the ball, hits Whitaker on the lane, comes inside, puts it up, it's short, rebound by Massey. Bernie with a chance to stretch his six-point lead as Curry with the basketball. Gives to Johnson. Johnson eyes another three from way out. Will not go, rebound by Thornton. Gives to Harris. Harris quickly across the timeline with the ball. Down in the corner to Stafford. 
Stafford to Whitaker, over to Harris. Harris and to Landon Miller from the corner, or to uh, Parvey. That was Miller to Harris. Harris hits a three. 15-12, 2.45 to go. Dill for three. He can light it up, but he gets hot. No good. Rebound by the Richland Rebels. We're going to have a walking call as Miller and Whitaker both tied the ball up on the same team and uh, call walking. In for the Bernie Mules is Tyler Trover and Jevin Pierce. Going out is Doug Thornton and Marcus Massey. Silas Dill inbound with 2.37 to go in the first period. He gives a ball to Preston Owens, puts it up, scores it. Preston Owens scores it, going to go to the line to try to convert on a three-point play. Owens, a six-foot senior. First foul of the game on the Rebels. That was on Nick Harris. Bernie Mules have four. Owens free throw up. No good. Rebound tipped up, pulled down by Tommy Stafford. Both teams have shot one free throw each and have not uh, connected either team on their free throw. Thornton with the ball. We got a five-second call at time. Trover on Thornton. He did not make a move. Therefore, the ball turned over to the Bernie Mules. Good defense that time with Tyler Trover. That's the type of play that that he does constantly uh, that you don't see in the uh, book. But uh, he picks up a lot of loose balls, draws a couple charging fouls a game. Just does a good job. Nice uh, move that time by Zach Curry, the sophomore. So he went around his man, pulled up, and hit about a 12-foot jump shot. 19-12 with two minutes to go in the first period. Richland on, or Bernie on top of Richland. Whitaker with the ball. Still has it. Drives a baseline, puts it up. Nice move. Cameron Whitaker with six and a quarter. 19-14 with 1.45 to go. Richland and 2-2-1 zone press. Bernie breaks it. Pierce has a ball. Goes to the top of the key. Hits Curry on the wing. Back to, to Pierce. But he wasn't there, and nice save by Silas Dill. Good hustle. Pierce now with the ball. Gives it to Trover, to Dill. Dill's going to go from the free throw line into Pierce. A nice nice pass that time. Jevin Pierce with a uh, his second bucket of the quarter. Bernie back on top by seven with 1.20 to go. Nick Harris with the ball inside to Drew Thornton. Nice spin move. We're going to have an offensive foul, push off. And, again, that was Tyler Trover on the defense. Like I said, he'll, he'll pick up a couple of – Charge fouls a game. Marcus Massey back in. Preston Owens out. We uh, commented the other night. Bernie gets a lot of uh, valuable minutes from Preston Owens. He comes in and gives everything he has and uh, uh, gives uh, Marcus Massey a blow or whoever he comes in for. Curry with the ball. Bernie's got the numbers. Curry does a spin move, goes inside, misses it. Ball put up by or rebounded by Drew Thornton. One minute to go in the period, 21-14. Bernie on top. Whitaker with the ball. Still with the ball. Nice move inside, but Whitaker puts it up and scores it. Whitaker with eight and a quarter. Pierce quickly with the ball. Coming down the court for the Mules. Gets the ball out to Dill. He's going to drive the baseline. We're going to have a charging foul on Silas Dill. His second foul. Bernie's fifth. With 43 seconds to go, Doug Thornton, in, or Doug Thornton. <laughs> Doug Johnson in for Silas Dill. Whitaker with the ball. He's had a great first quarter. He's going to put up one just inside the three. It will not go. Rebounded fault far by the Mules. We're going to have a jump ball. The ball was called out on both Miller and Johnson. The ball will turn over on the alternate possession to the Richland Rebels. They will keep possession with 32 seconds to go in the first period. Ball inbounded to Whitaker to Harris. Whitaker to Miller to Tommy Stafford. To Drew Thornton. He goes against Marcus Massey. Puts it up. No good. Oh, Tommy Stafford with a nice putback that time. Stafford with four in a period. 21-18 with eight seconds to go. Curry with the ball for the Mules. Working against Landon Miller. Puts it inside to wide open Marcus Massey who scores it. Massey with six in a quarter. And that's going to end the first period with the Bernie Mules on top of the Richland Rebels. 23-18. We'll be right back in just a moment. 
The next time you need a metal building, call Roy Owens Construction at 276-3871. Roy Owens Construction has years of experience in metal buildings. Roy Owens Construction is located on Highway 25 North in Malden. Stop by their office today to make your plans for your next metal building. That is Roy Owens Construction Company in Malden. Well, what a fast-paced first quarter we've seen here. And uh, we expect to see this the entire game. Both teams up and down the floor, both teams pressing. Not First State Bank and Trust in Dexter earned 5.12 annual percentage yield with an electronic Advantage Now checking account. There's no minimum balance and no service charge, giving you the best product for internet banking and more. Get unlimited checking with free internet banking, free online bill payments, electronic bank statements, and more. Streamline monthly bill payments, save time and money, and earn 5.12 APY at First State Bank and Trust, Business 60 and Dexter, member FDIC. Scoring in the first quarter looks like this for the Richland Rebels. Cameron Whitaker had eight, Nick Harris six, Tommy Stafford four. The surprise is Drew Thornton has not scored, the freshman. For the uh, Bernie Mules, scoring uh, went like this. They had uh, six players that scored. You had Marcus Massey with six, Jevin Pierce, Zach Curry, and Tyler Trover with four. Uh, those guys had four each. Doug Johnson, three. Preston Owens, two. Free throw-wise, uh, both teams have been to the line uh, for one shot each. Neither team has hit their free throws, so both teams 0 for one. Foul-wise, Silas Dill with two, Tyler Trover with one, Jevin Pierce with one, Marcus Massey with one. That's for the Bernie Mules. For the uh, Richland Rebels, Nick Harris with one, Drew Thornton with one. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. So, first quarter down, Bernie on top, 23-18. Brad Botch substituting quite freely, keep his troops fresh. Bernie starts the second quarter with the ball. Richland in a 2-3 zone right now. Ball hit uh, to Curry on the wing. Tries to skip past it, does get to Johnson. Johnson down to Trover. Trover back to Johnson. Inside to Marcus Massey. Tried to hit Trover with it. Landon Miller. Landon Miller uh, tried to steal the ball, and the ball tipped out of bounds off his fingertips. Zach Curry with the ball. Just underway in the second period. The Richland Gym, in case you just joined us. Bernie Mules in blue, Richland Rebels in gray. Down in the corner, Doug Johnson drives the baseline, tried to hit uh, Tyler Trover inside. The ball is out of bounds off someone, off the Bernie Mules, and it will be uh, turned over to the Richland Rebels. 7.21 to go in this second period, 23-18. Neither team scored yet to start this second quarter. Oh, nice backdoor pass there, and Drew Thornton's going to pick up his first bucket, and we're going to have a foul. A nice pick over there on the other side and a backdoor cut, and a nice pass in. The foul is going to be on Jevin Pierce, his second. He comes out of the game as Silas still goes in. It's 23-20. Thornton, the freshman, to the line to try to convert on the conventional three-point play. Nice screen on the opposite side, and they saw Thornton as he came across the lane, wide open, got the ball. Jevin Pierce sunk on him. It was too late, committed to foul. Free throw up, no good. Tipped around, Marcus Massey had the ball tipped out of his hands by Tommy Stafford, so the ball goes over to the Bernie Mules with 23-20 uh, with 7.07 to go in the second period. Again, Tommy Jacobs on assignment tonight. He got caught in the ice up north, couldn't get away, so we're uh, all alone tonight. Silas still in the corner, hits Marcus Massey. Massey with a turnaround jump shot, scores it. Marcus Massey, he, if he can do that all night long, it's going to be a real long night for the, for the Richland Rebels. He gets the ball and turns around. He's very quick about releasing that shot. 25-20, Bernie back on top by five. Whitaker with the ball for the Rebels. Gets it to uh, Miller, back to Whitaker. 
He's looking inside. He skips it over to Harris. Harris going to put up a three. No in and out. Ball tipped around. Whitaker has it. Goes to the corner. Richland's going to reset. Bernie's in that zone now. 2-3 zone. Both teams are in it. Nick Harris inside. A nice move. Can't get it to go. Massey with the uh, loose ball pickup. Curry on the fly, on the wing. He goes inside. He's going to be fouled on the floor. On the floor, the foul is going to be called on. Foul's going to be on Drew Thornton. It's going to be his second, the team's third. Dill to inbound for the Mules. Gets in the corner to Trover, to Curry. Down to Trover in the corner. To Curry. Curry puts up one from 12. No good. Rebound that time by Nick Harris. And we're going to have a foul on Tyler Trover of the Mules. It's going to be his second foul. Going to the line to shoot a one and one will be Nick Harris. Justin Dalbert coming in for the Rebels, going out Strew Thornton. Jake Welch, the freshman from Bernie, is in for the Mules. Doug Thornton out. Or Doug Thornton. Doug Johnson. I don't know why I keep calling him Doug Thornton. Neither team has hit a free throw tonight. Nick Harris, one and one, will not go. Massey with the ball. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by Harris. Gets the ball to Whitaker. Dalbert for three. Put it up. No good, but tipped around. Stafford comes up with it and scores. Tommy Stafford with his first bucket of the second quarter. Six in the game. Welch inside. Gets it to Dill. Back to Massey. Massey up. Puts it up. Scores it. Marcus Massey with 10 in the game. 27-22, 5-10 27-22, 5-10 to go in the second period. Dalbert with the ball on the wing. Gets it to Stafford. Stafford to Whitaker. Whitaker going to work inside, comes back out with it. Gets it to Dalbert to Harris. Harris thought about a shot, but pulled it back. Whitaker now has it to Harris. Harris puts up a jump shot just inside the three-point range, and he knocks it down. He now has... Eight on the night. 27-24. Oh, nice defense by Stafford that time, but could not uh, control it. Coming in for the Bernie Mules, Preston Owens going out Tyler Trover. Dill to inbound for the Mules. Gets it in the corner to, to Welch. Back to Dill. He's going to put up a long three. Will not go. Rebounded by Curry, puts it up, scores it. Zach Curry with his first bucket of the second half. He now has six with uh, timeout on the floor with 4.27 to go in this first half. It's Bernie 29, Richland 24. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. This game brought to you by your friends at New Wave Communications. New Wave is the local leader in communication and entertainment needs. Digital cable, telephone, high-speed data from one source. Call New Wave today to find out how you can save even more by bundling digital cable, telephone, and high-speed data. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Boomers Productions. The next time your company needs a commercial, safety, informational, or music video made, please contact Boomers Productions. Working with Maldonite Productions, we can produce your next video requirement. We also bring to your local news and programming as seen on Channel 21 and the New Wave Communications Network. We're currently seen in Bernie, Bloomfield, Essex, Campbell, Dexter, and Malden, and looking forward to serving more towns in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas viewing area. Boomers Productions and Channel 21, your hometown channel. Call 281-2121 or visit our website at boomersproductions.com. Also, our toll-free number outside the Malden area, 877-566-2121. Casey Knight did not like what was happening to his team as they were giving away too many second chances on uh, rebounds and also too many chip shots in there. So he called a quick timeout to regroup his team. He and Steve Wyman having a good talk with his team. 
Coach Botch and Coach Carnes talking to the Mules. This game is to, between uh, two, three, five, and seven points, just back and forth. And uh, Bernie has maintained the lead here once they got it. But it's uh, been a good game to watch. Both teams cat and mouse. Both teams uh, using uh, great offense and defense. Both teams started off man-to-man. Now both teams in 2-3 zone. Let's see how they how they break here to start with 4.27 to go in this second period. Harris inbound to Whitaker. Bernie's going to go to a half-court trap, a 1-2-2 half-court trap. Harris is going to step on the out-of-bounds line. Turnover two. Bernie Mules. Jake Welch with the ball. Gives it to Deal, to Curry. Curry inside, goes up. We're going to have a foul. A foul is going to be on Justin Dalbert, his first. Team's fourth. Foul occurred on the floor. Deal will inbound for the Mules. Out front to Welch, Welch to Owens, and Owens has the ball go off his hands, out of bounds, turned over to the Richland Rebels. Doug Johnson in for the Mules. Coming out is Preston Owens. 4.04 to go in the second period, 29-24. See what the half-court, pre- Welch takes the ball away and then the ball back to Whitaker. I'll just see what the half-court trap does to the Rebels. Whitaker very quick. Ball handler puts the ball up, no good. Stafford got the rebound, put it up, and scored it. Tommy Stafford with a stick back, now has eight. Stafford's one of those guys about like Trover. He likes to work the center and pick up a lot of uh, baskets. Dill at time on a give-go to Massey and put it up. He's going to be fouled. Going to the line to shoot two will be Silas Dill. Foul is going to be on Nick Harris, his second. Team's fifth. Deal the other night was 10 for 10 from the free throw line against the Camels. First one up, scores it. That's his first points of the game. Eric Foster back in for the Rebels. Coming out is Nick Harris. Stoddard County Conference game. Second one up, scores it. First two, first free throws made by either team tonight. Not a lot of free throw shot, but that's the first two that have connected. Foster with the ball, back to Whitaker. Whitaker to Foster. Gives it to uh, Dalbert, or to uh, Dalbert, split up the three and no good. It's going to be rebounded by the Mules on the floor. That was Landon Miller doing the passing that time. Doug Johnson with the ball, and ball is going to be uh, kicked by Miller. Stop the ball from going inside, but you cannot kick the ball. That is a turnover or not a turnover, but a violation. Jevin Pierce coming into the game for Jake Welch. 3.07 to go. Inside to Pierce to Massey. We're going to have a foul on the floor. Foul is going to be on Eric Foster, his first, team six. The next foul by the Richland Rebels will send the Bernie Mules to the uh, free throw line for a one and one with 3.04 to go. Doug Johnson for three, puts it up, no good. Rebounded in there by Miller. He gives it to Dalbert to Whitaker. Rebels need a basket. Foster has it. Miller to Dalbert to Whitaker. Back to uh, Dalbert, to Foster. Foster thought about a three and pulled it back inside to Tommy Stafford. He goes up, ball blocked by Massey. Stafford gets it back, goes inside, puts it up, blocked again, ball out of bounds off of Stafford. Ball turned over to the Mules. Thirty-one twenty-six. 26 2.25 to go. Johnson with the ball to Pierce, to Dill, to Massey. 
Ball taken away by Cameron Whitaker. He's all alone, goes in, puts it up, scores it. Cameron Whitaker with his first two of the second period now has 10 in the game. Two minutes to go. Pierce with the ball, has the ball taken away by Eric Foster. Whitaker picks it up. Ball still on the floor. We're going to have a foul on Jevin Pierce. Pierce called for reaching in with 1.58 to go. 31-28, Whitaker to the line to shoot a one and one Whitaker's 0 for 1 from the line. Trover and Jake Welch in. Curry and Pierce out for the Mules. Cameron Whitaker, first or his free throw up will not go. Richland's not hit a free throw yet. Bernie with the ball. Johnson has it to Welch. Back to Johnson. He's working against uh, Dalbert. We're going to have a charge foul against Doug Johnson, and he has turned an ankle, I believe. Doug Johnson with his first foul, and, boy, he is wanting out. He has turned an ankle. Preston Owens in for him with 1.46 to go. Nice defense that time by the Richland Rebels. Rebels can tie it with the three. Good ball game, just what we thought we'd see tonight. Dalbert with the ball behind his back. Welch tries to take it away. Mules do take it away. Trover has it. He looks down, gives it to Welch. Welch tries to get over to to Preston Foster. Nice defense that time by Stafford, and we've got a charge foul on Landon Miller, his first foul. And again, Tyler Trover on the defensive end. That's his second that we know of that that he's taken, and he may have taken three already, but we know it's been two. Nick Harris back into the game. Going out is Justin Dalbert for the Rebels. Trover took a, got his shoulder hurt the other night in the Camel or in the uh, Malden game, and looks like he's hurting again right now, but he's gonna suck it up this last minute and 20 seconds. Bernie on top of three. 31-28. 31-28. Trover has a ball. Down to Owens in the corner. He thought about it, pulled it back. Gives it to Trover to Welch. Over to Dill. Dill's going to drive. Gives the ball over to Massey. Massey looks for someone to give to. Out front, taken away by Foster. They had the ball on the floor. Rebels have it. Stafford has it. Gives it to Whitaker. A lot of loose balls tonight. Harris for three. Puts it up. No good. Rebound by Trover. We're down to 50 seconds to go in this second period. 31-28. Dill with the ball. Going to drive in, puts it up off the glass. No good. Rebound, fault far. Massey comes away with it. We're going to have a, a blocking foul that time. Foul is going to be on the Richland Rebels. Going to be on Eric Foster. It's going to be his second. The line to shoot two will be Marcus Massey. He has not shot a free throw tonight. He will shoot two. He has 10 points in this first half. 45 seconds to go. Been a great ball game so far. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Bring it to you. Massey's first one rolls around and in. Zach Curry back in. Going out to Preston Foster. Thirty-two twenty-eight. Second one scores it. Bernie four for four. This. Quarter from the free throw line. Dill two for two. Marcus Massey two for two. Bernie back up by five with 40 seconds to go. Foster has a ball. Tries to skip it over. Ball tip. Whitaker has it. Drives in and loses control of the ball. Out of bounds. Turned over to the Bernie Mules with 34 seconds to go. Whitaker was by himself and just lost it off his fingertips. Welch with the ball for the Mules. Oh, and the ball taken away by Nick Harris. Harris read that perfectly, gives to Whitaker. Whitaker goes up against Welch, will not go, but Jake Welch is going to be called for his first foul. The line to shoot two will be Whitaker. He is 0 for 2 from the line. Again, Richland has not hit a free throw tonight. They're 0 for 4. First free throw up, he scores it. Whitaker with 11. This young man, a fine young man, and also a uh, very good ball player for the Rebels. Second free throw up, scores it. We got a timeout on the floor with 25 seconds to go. It's the Bernie Mules 33, the Richland Rebels 30. We'll be right back in just a moment. 
Skeeter Kale Sporting Goods, call Kenneth Store at 888 or Lloyd Rice at 576-4471. Nike, Adidas, Russell, any and all kinds of major brand names and your favorite sporting goods. New location in Kenneth at 1300 Industrial Drive. That's Skeeter Kale Sporting Goods in Kenneth. We're wearing vests tonight from Skeeter Kale. Give them a call or stop by the Kenneth Store for all your sporting goods needs. Well, we hope that you're enjoying this game. It's uh, It's been a good one, just what we expected. It's cold outside, and folks, it's warm inside. We are seeing a barn burner, and it's in the making here. And this is from Gymnasium. Jim Dolly take us on the side of the night. He uh, got up uh, into the ice, and he is stuck up there in a motel. And uh, we want to wish him, hopefully, it'll warm up, and he'll be back with us Friday night for the Barney game. We'll be at Barney Live for their homecoming against the Bloomfield Wildcats. We will tape that game and play it back on Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. So, uh, again, get out to the game. Watch the homecoming game at Bernie. And we will stay for the uh, festivities following the game for the crowning of the queen. Get all that live and taped. We'll put that back for you on Sunday at 3 o'clock and 8 p.m. This game you're watching on Thursday and early Friday morning. Richland in a half-court trap to try to mix things up here to try to get a steal. And Bernie breaks the trap. Massey with the ball. We're going to have a blocking foul. It's going to be on Landon Miller. It's going to be his second to the line to shoot a one and one will be Marcus Massey. He's two for two from the line and both of those shots in this quarter. Marcus Massey having a nice game. Very quiet. Ten points. Has a chance to make uh, pull it up to 12 here if he makes uh, the free throw, makes the first, and then gets the bonus and makes that. We're going to have a stop in the action. we got uh, some moisture on the floor. Don't want anybody to turn an ankle there. Like I say, with Doug Johnson, we're afraid to turn an ankle. Uh, I can't tell if they've got it iced or not. looks like his shoe is on. They don't have any ice on it, so it should be okay. Referee's conferring just a minute. I think they've called a two-shot foul. Massey's free throw up, scores it. Doesn't make much. I guess they gave him the basket. That's what it was. They gave him the basket. And he had the one free throw. Miller inside the ball. Ball uh, slapped out of his hands, and Eric Foster puts up a three as the horn goes off to end the first half. It's the Bernie Mules 36, the Richland Rebels 30. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with you. D&D Trucking is located at Highway 60 and Double F, just north of Essex. Donnie and Tish Foster are the owners. D&D Trucking uses end tumps and hopper bottom trailers. D&D Trucking specializes in grain, fertilizer, lime, and rock hauling. Personalized, dependable, and reliable service, that's D&D Trucking in Essex. Give them a call at 573-283-5550. D&D Trucking in Essex. Here's the way the scoring went for the Bernie Mules. Silas Dill with two points. Doug Johnson with three. Tyler Trover with four. Zach Curry with six. Jevin Pierce with four. Marcus Massey, a big first half with 15 points. Preston Owens with two. Bernie, five for six from the free throw line. And uh, that all came in. They missed. They were 0, uh, 0 for 1 in the first period. They were uh, 4 for 5 or 5 for uh, 6. 5 for 5, I should say, in the uh, second period. Gives 5 for 6 in the first half. For the uh, Richland Rebels, Cameron Whitaker with 12. Nick Harris with 8. Tommy Stafford with 8. Drew Thornton with 2. And uh, free throw wise, uh, Richland 0 for 4. Foul wise, let's look at both teams here. Jevin Pierce with three for the Mules. Two fouls each to Tyler Trover and Silas Steele. One foul to Jake Welch, Doug Johnson, and Marcus Massey. For the uh, Richland Rebels, uh, two fouls each to Eric Foster and with Drew Thornton, Landon Miller, and Nick Harris. One foul to uh, Justin Daubert. 
So uh, nobody in real serious foul trouble. Jevin Pierce with three. Uh, he can watch himself in this uh, second half. And, again, uh, we expect a great second half. Uh, very close game, 36-30. A little question asked on uh, whether Marcus Massey had made the basket. And uh, we, uh, uh, the announcers up here for KDX, uh, Terry Turlington tonight filling in for Wendell uh, Vincent and also uh, uh, Jim Lebrot. Uh, we uh, rewound the tape, looked at it, and sure enough, Marcus Massey made that basket. Good call by the officials. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back with you to start the second half. JR Shoes carries a complete line of athletic shoes for the entire family. Nike socks are available at JR's now from infant sizes through men's size 18. New Balance are also in stock in medium and wide widths. JR carries a complete line of casual shoes by Merrill, Bourne, and Clark for guys and gals. In the boot line, JR carries red wings and planar steel toe, waterproof or insulated, double H Western work boots, and Justin double comfort work boots with Gore-Tex, Dr. Martin classics, Rocky work boots, Acme kids boots, and Tony Llama and Dan Post dress boots. That's JR shoes in Malden and Popper Bluff. Back to the second half. Both teams are out on the floor getting warmed up uh, to start this second half. Again, we want to thank Kim Stokes, our camera person again tonight, doing a great job for us. I'm Bill Hampton. Again, Tommy Jacobs on assignment. He'll be back with us Friday night uh, at Bernie. Again, Bernie homecoming we will be doing live. Referees uh, again conferring and getting things ready to start the second half. We've got a good crowd on hand tonight. It is very cold outside, as we said, at the onset of the game. And uh, it's very warm in here. And we're just happy that you're with us to see this game. And this is a Stoddard County Conference game between the Bernie Mules and the Richland Rebels. Mules on top of six. Game was back and forth at the first. And then all of a sudden, it's uh, Bernie has uh, pulled out to a seven-point lead. Then they maintain a five- and six-point lead pretty well the, the uh, whole time. So we've got a little trouble here with our TV and our plug-in, so we're going to mess with it. Our, uh, I say our TV, our monitor, and uh, we'll have to work on that. Richland will start the second half with the ball. Harris has it to Whitaker. Birdie back to a man-to-man. Thornton with the ball, drives the lane. Could have, oh, he tried to hit uh, Stafford with it. Nobody home. Trover picks up the loose ball. Trover down the floor, head up, look, tries to hit an open man, hits Johnson to Massey, Massey turnaround shot, no good. Rebound by Harris. Dill slapped at it, couldn't get it, couldn't get it out of his hands. Seven and a half minutes to go. Neither team scored to start this second half. Richland with the ball to Harris, to Stafford, to Foster, inside to Thornton. He's going to work against Massey, puts it off the board, no good. Rebound tipped up and out of bounds by Dill of the Mules. Richland will inbound under their own basket. Foster to inbound for the Rebels. Out front to Harris. Gives the ball to Stafford. Stafford to Whitaker. Bernie's in a 2-3 zone on that inbound pass. Harris to Whitaker for three. He puts it up. No good. Rebound tipped around and pulled down by Massey of the Mules. Massey quickly to Curry. Curry down in the corner to Johnson. Johnson inside to Massey. Gives it to uh, Curry. He puts it up. Scores it. Nice uh, fingertip uh, roll that time by Zach Curry. His first first basket of the second half of either team. Bernie on top bait. Biggest lead by either team in this game. Whitaker with the ball. Rebels need a basket. Gives a ball to Harris. Harris inside to Thornton. Back to Harris. Harris to Foster. Foster is going to put up a three. No good. Rebounded on the floor by Massey. He's going to take off with it. Down the floor himself. Massey can handle it. Gets it off the corner to Johnson for three. Puts it up. Scores it. Doug Johnson with his second three of the game. He now has six. Biggest lead be their team. 11 points. Uh, Bernie on top of Richland, 41 to 30. We've got a timeout with 5.55 to go in this third period. We'll be right back in just a moment. The 
It took uh, Bernie Mules a minute to get going, but once they did, they've caught fire. They've had a uh, two by Zach Curry and a three by Doug Johnson, and they've scored five. Richland yet to score in this third period. Coach Knight's trying to fire his team up. While ago, Drew Thornton looked like he had an open shot in the lane and gave it up to Stafford, and Stafford wasn't there. I'm sure that's what Coach Knight is saying. You've got the open shot, take it when you're four foot from the basket. Richland will inbound the ball at center court. Harris will inbound. Bernie back to that man-to-man. Ball to uh, Foster. Foster to Whitaker. Bernie's in a trap now instead of the man-to-man. They're in a half. Oh, nice pass that time with Thornton down to Stafford. Stafford scores it. First basket for Richland Rebels in the second half. Dell to Massey. He's going to work inside, puts it up, scores it. Marcus Massey with his first two of the third quarter, 17 in the game by him. 5.25 to go, 43-32. Harris just inside the three, puts it up, scores it. Nick Harris, his first basket, second half. He now has 10. Foster with the takeaway for the Rebels. Rebels need a basket. They trail by nine, five minutes to go in this third period. Harris with the ball. Gave it to Thornton, Thornton to Whitaker. Whitaker's going to put up a two-pointer, no good. Rebound by Stafford. He's going to go inside, puts it up, in and out. Rebound by Curry. Curry with the ball. Down the floor. Hits Silas Dill. He puts it up. No good. Rebound by Thornton. 43-34, four and a half minutes to go. Bernie on top by nine. Drew Thornton been very quiet for the Rebels. He only has two points. Marcus Massey and the rest of the Bernie team doing a good job on him. Whitaker with the ball. Gives it to Nick Harris. Nick Harris going to drive the lane. Gives a ball to Whitaker. Whitaker inside the lane, puts up a running jump shot. No good. Rebound tipped around on the floor. Trover with the ball, gives it to Massey. Bernie with the numbers. Massey goes inside, puts up a jump shot, scores it. Marcus Massey with his second basket of the of the quarter. Now has 19 in the game. 45-34. Bernie back up by 11. Bernie in a uh, half-court trap. They moved that zone out. Foster with the ball to Thornton. Thornton's going to drive, and he gives a ball to Stafford. Nice pass that time to Tommy Stafford from Thornton. His second bucket of the third period. He now has 12. Backdoor cut. Tried to hit uh, Curry with it. Ball tipped out of bounds by the Rebels. Preston Owens and Jevin Pierce in for the Mules. Silas Dill and Tyler Trover out. Also Landon Miller in for the Rebels. Tommy Stafford out. Doug Johnson to inbound for the Mules. 45-36, 45-36, inside to Massey, turn around, mark, miss, mark that down. Marcus Massey gets there, 19 out of 20 times, he'll make that. Six points in the quarter, 21 in the game. Big game for Marcus Massey. As Massey goes, so the Mules go. Ball to Harris, off his chest. He picks it up, though. Miller has it to Whitaker. To Foster, over to Harris. Harris in the corner, throws inside to Drew Thornton, he puts it up against Marcus Massey. Massey's going to be called for the foul. It's going to be his second to the line to shoot two will be Drew Thornton. He's 0 for 1 for the free throw line tonight. 3.06 to go in this third period. First one up, scores it. He now has three in the game. He's been very quiet, very quiet is Drew Thornton tonight. But again, when you got somebody like Marcus Massey on you, you're, you're going to be quite a lot of times. Second one, no good. Rebound tipped around. Zach Curry pulls it down, tries to hit a hit uh, Pierce on the wing. It went to Johnson. He gives it to Massey, puts it up. No good. Pierce with the rebound. He goes right back up with it. Will not score, but he's going to be fouled. The line to shoot two will be Jevin Pierce. Pierce has not been to the free throw line tonight. The foul is on. Drew Thornton, his third. Tommy Stafford and Tyler Trover getting ready to check back into the game. 
Pierce first three open will not go. Stafford coming in for Pierce. Trover in for Curry. Jevin Pierce, a 5'8 senior. Second one up, no good. Stafford with the rebound. Gives it to Whitaker. 47-37, 2.45 to go in this third period. Harris tried to hit bounce pass to Stafford, taken away by Marcus Massey. Massey still with the ball. He gives the ball out to Trover. Trover over to Doug Johnson. Coach Bonds wants a set play or set offense to Trover to Johnson. Richland in a zone. Down to Trover in a corner. Looks uh, for Massey inside. He gives it to Preston Ozen. Puts it up. It's short. Ball off of Nick Harris's foot. Out of bounds to the Bernie Mules. Preston Owen, or uh, Doug Johnson to inbound. To Massey. Massey puts up a shot. He's going to be fouled by Miller. Miller hit him in the stomach. Third foul on Miller going to line to shoot two will be Marcus Massey. He's uh, three for three from the line tonight. He has 21 in this game. Another nice game by Marcus Massey. First free throw up and good. Massey does a lot of things, basic fundamental, just a basic fundamental basketball player. He squares up when he shoots to the basket, gets those shoulders squared up, good wrist action, good elbow action. He knocks his second one down. Bernie goes out to a 12-point lead, 49-37 with 2.09 to go in the third quarter. We're going to have a timeout on the floor. We'll be right back in just a moment. Not First State Bank and Trust and Dexter earned 5.12 annual percentage yield with an electronic Advantage Now checking account. There's no minimum balance and no service charge, giving you the best product for internet banking and more. Get unlimited checking with free internet banking, free online bill payments, electronic bank statements, and more. Streamline monthly bill payments, save time and money, and earn 5.12 APY at First State Bank and Trust, Business 60 and Dexter, member FDIC. Casey Knight not locking the way things are going right now as his team has now gone from six down to 12 down with 2.08 to go in this period. He's trying to rally his troops, tell them to get back in the game, get it down to at least single digits to make a run in this fourth quarter. Again, Marcus Massey having a big game. He has 23. He's five for five from the free throw line. He has two fouls. He has numerous blocks and a bunch of rebounds and has played a great floor game. He handles the ball very well for a 6'3 postman because he doesn't get to play guard. And uh, he's uh, he's just one of the best 6'3 guys that we've seen this year. We've seen a bunch of guys, but when he blocks a shot, most of them stay in bounds instead of going out of bounds. Your team has a chance to pick up that ball. Whitaker with the ball to Foster. Foster to Harris. Bernie in a man-to-man. Tommy Stafford works inside. The foul's going to be on Jevin Pierce as he uh, grabbed hold of him. It's going to be Jevin's fourth foul. Jevin gets a lot of fouls. He does a lot of reaching. Stafford's going to go to the line to shoot two. He has not been to the line tonight. He has 12. He has four in each quarter, four in the first, four in the second, four here in the third. He has a chance to increase those points. Richland has not hit a free throw. They're 0 for 4 tonight. First shot up, no good. Silas still, Zach Curry back in for the Mules. Owens and Pierce out. Second with Stafford, will not go, rebounded on the floor. Trover comes away with it, gives it to Dill on the wing to Doug Johnson. Johnson in, try to Massey. Massey picks it up. We're going to have a jump ball. 
Ball will stay with the Bernie Mules on alternate possession. <laughs> Dill will inbound. Gives it to Curry. We're down to one and a half minutes to go in this third period. 49-37. Bernie still on top by 12. Johnson with the ball. Skips it over to Curry. Whitaker's on him. Ball tipped out of bounds or knocked out of bounds by Cameron Whitaker. Bernie will control. Curry with the ball to Massey. Massey hits Dill on the wing. He goes inside, passes over to Trover. He puts it up. No good. Rebound tipped around, and we're going to have a foul. Mark Powell is going to be on Marcus Massey, 42. It's going to be his third foul. Foster at the inbound with 109 to go in this period. Foster, Richland needs a basket. Bernie's in a 1-2-2 half-court trap. Richland attacks, gets the ball to Stafford. Stafford back to Harris, over to Whitaker. Down in the corner to Foster. Foster puts up a three, in and out. Rebounded by Massey. Massey has it. We're down to 50 seconds to go. Massey still has it. Kicks in the corner to Silas Dill. He drives inside uh, to the lane and gives the ball to Marcus Massey. But a charging foul at time on Silas Dill. Good defense on Tommy Stafford as he stayed home. And Dill, it looks like he's shaken up after that charge foul. 44 seconds to go. Fans from Richland give Stafford a real nice hand. Good defense on his part. Dill had good intentions, tried to hit Massey as he was stopped on the baseline, but he kept going and ran through the defensive man. Whitaker with the ball to Harris. We're down to 30 seconds to go in the in the third period. Whitaker to, to Foster. Foster's driving. Tries to go inside to Stafford. Ball taken away by Marcus Massey. He's going to drive in, puts it up, and it goes. Marcus Massey with a nice drive at time. He has 10 in the corner, 25 in the game. Cameron Whitaker from the free throw line, no good. Rebound by Trover. 10 seconds to go. Dill has a ball. Kicks it to Doug Johnson for three. He puts it up, scores it. Doug Johnson for this third three of the night. As the horn goes off, as Whitaker's shot goes, it will not count. And in the first third quarter, it's the Bernie Mules 54, the Richland Rebels 37. We'll be right back. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Well, the Bernie Mules really stretched that lead out uh, right at the end of the quarter after the timeout by the Richland Rebels. They were down by 12, and Bernie picked up uh, – Five more points to stretch that lead to, to uh, 17 to start this fourth quarter. Bernie Mules ran very well there in that quarter. And uh, we're trying to get the scores figured up for you for the Richland Rebels uh, with uh, 12. is Tommy Stafford, three is Drew Thornton, 10 is Nick Harris, and 12 is Cameron Whitaker. That's 37 points for the Bernie Mules. Silas Dill with two points. Doug Johnson with three threes. He has nine. Tyler Trover with four. Zach Curry with eight. Jevin Pierce with four. Uh, Ten points that quarter for Marcus Massey. He now has 25. And Preston Owens with two. So hopefully that adds up. And it does. Foul-wise, going into the fourth period uh, for Bernie Mules, Marcus Massey with three. Jevin Pierce with four. Silas Dill with three. For the Richland Rebels, Landon Miller with three, Drew Thornton with three. Everybody else with two or less. Again, we want to thank Kim Stokes, our camera person tonight. Cameron Whitaker with the ball. Bernie back to a man-to-man. Jake Welch into the game. Down to Thornton. Thornton was going to work inside, puts it up. It's not going to go, but he's going to be fouled. Foul is going to be on 
Tyler Trover, number 25. It's going to be his third to the line to shoot two will be Drew Thornton. Thornton is one for three from the line tonight. He has three points. He is a very talented freshman. He's had a tough row to hold tonight. His first free throw up, he scores it. Second one up, no good, rebounded by Trover. Trover keeps that head up when he goes down the floor, always looking for the open man. Welch with the ball to Trover. Trover's going to drive the baseline, does a spin move, throws inside to Pierce. Pierce puts it up, scores it. Jevin Pierce, a nice move at time, nice assist by Trover. Pierce now with six. Whitaker with the ball. Still has it inside the lane, puts up a jump shot, scores it. Cameron Whitaker, his first bucket of the second half, now has 14 in the game. Welch with the ball, working against the press to Pierce. Pierce off his foot, out of bounds. The ball will be going over to the Richland Rebels. Their half-court press has speeded things up a bit. Jake Welch doing a good job handling the ball. He's a very good ball handler for a freshman. He's been in a lot of key situations in varsity games. Played in the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. Also, every varsity game he gets in. Nick Harris for three, knocks that down. Richland has now cut the lead down to 13, 56, and they've taken the ball away on the press. Stafford with the ball. He's going to go up. Ball is going to be fouled by Preston Owens. Preston Owens, first foul. The line to shoot two is going to be Tommy Stafford. Stafford has 12 in the game. He's over two from the free throw line. to go, it's 56-43, Bernie still on top. Stafford's first free throw will not go. Free throws have been not good for the Richland Rebels tonight. Silas still and Marcus Massey in, Owens and Pierce out for the Mules. Stafford is 0 for 3 from the line. This one up, scores it, now has 13 in the game. Bernie in a one, or Richland a one, two, two. Uh, oh, Richland is in a one, two, two, half, uh, full court press. Ball taken away that time by Drew Thornton. He went in and Marcus Massey fouled him. Marcus Massey now has four fouls. Thornton back the line to shoot two. It's 56 44, 6 45 to go. Coach Knight asking for a goaltending call. Did not get it. Drew Thornton is two for five from the line so far tonight. First one up, will not go. We've got a timeout on the floor with 6.45 to go. It's the Bernie Mills 56, Richland Rebels 44. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back with you. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Boomers Productions. The next time your company needs a commercial, safety, informational, or music video made, please contact Boomers Productions. Working with Malta Night Productions, we can produce your next video requirement. We also bring to your local news and programming as seen on Channel 21 and the New Wave Communications Network. We're currently seen in Bernie, Bloomfield, Essex, Campbell, Dexter, and Malden, and looking forward to serving more towns in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas viewing area. Boomers Productions and Channel 21, your hometown channel. Call 281-2121 or visit our website at boomersproductions.com. Also, our toll-free number outside the Malden area, 877-566-2121. Well, the Rebels are doing exactly what they need to do to fight back to get into this game. They're... They're utilizing the clock on the stoppage. The only thing, they can't get their free throws to go down. We said they were 0 for 4 in that first uh, half. They were actually 2 for 6 in this in this uh, half. So far, they've shot they've shot 10 and they are they've shot uh, 9 so far and they've made uh, 3. So point-wise, they could be right in this game if they had to hit uh, 75, 80% of their free throws. 
Thornton to the line. He needs these free. He needs this free throw. He's already shot one and missed. 6:45 to go in the, in this game. 56-44. Bernie on top by 12. Second one good. Welch to inbound, gets it to Dill. He's going to be double teamed in the corner. Ball turned over again. Whitaker's got it, puts it up and in. Cameron Whitaker with a takeaway. This press has hurt the Mules. They get the ball in the corner to Dill. He's going to dribble it, gets it to Welch. Welch has got the ball, gets it to Trover. Burning across the timeline to Johnson in the corner for three. 56-47. Richland back within nine. Close to say Ben in some time. Curry with the ball, drives in, puts it up. Scores it. Zach Curry with a nice move. He has 10 in the game. 58-47, 10 to go. Down to Stafford. Whitaker out front to Foster to Harris. Skips it over to Stafford. Inside to Thornton. A nice spin move, and he's going to have a foul. On the floor is going to be on Tyler Trover. It's going to be his fourth. When I say that, it looks like it's going to be on. It's going to be on Zach Curry instead of Trover. It's his first. Thornton to the line. He's going to shoot two. First one up, scores it. 58 48, 553 to go in regulation. Second one up, scores it. Bernie breaks the press. Trover has it. He goes in, tries to get Dill on the wing, and the ball tipped out of bounds by Whitaker. Press has bothered the Mules here. They get the ball in the corner, and boy, I tell you what, Richland double teams. They're, They're quick. Ball out front to Trover. Gets it to Johnson. Johnson working against Harris. Gets the ball to Curry. Curry to Welch. Welch back to Curry. Curry inside for six. Scores it. Ball is going to count. Curry was fouled. He has four and a quarter, eight or a 12 in the game. Foul is going to be a push foul on Tommy Stafford, his first of the game. Curry to the line to try to convert on three point play. No good. Rebound by Thornton. 60 49. Bernie on top by 11 with five and a half to go in this game. Foster in the corner to Stafford. Stafford to Whitaker. Whitaker inside to Thornton. Thornton's getting very active, very active now with uh, Massey on the bench. Trover playing behind him. Trover's going to be called for a push foul. It is going to be his fourth foul. The line to shoot a one and one will be Drew Thornton. Now uh, The next foul on the Mules will put... Uh, Richland to the line for the double bonus. First free throw up, or the free throw up, good by Thornton. Now he gets the bonus. He has shot eight free throws now in this quarter, and he's six for eight, so he's starting to warm up. Now has nine in the game. Ball to Curry. Ball slapped out of bounds by Thornton. 60-51 with 5.18 to go. The fans for Richland getting into the game. Richland's kind of caught fire here. We've got a reach-in foul on the Rebels. It's going to be on Tommy Stafford. It's going to be his second foul. That's the fourth team foul of the uh, half on the Rebels. So Bernie still three more fouls from going to the free throw line. Curry will inbound. Gives it to Welch. Welch picks up the dribble, gets it to Curry, but take it away. It's off his hands. Harris has it. He's in the corner. Bill's on him. They get the ball to Thornton. Thornton goes inside. Nice pass over to Stafford. He scores it. Tommy Stafford with two. 60-53. Ball tipped out of bounds by the Rebels. Richland wanted the ball off the birdies' heads, but good hustle. They're back within seven now, the Richland Rebels. 4.56 to go. Coming into the game for the Mules, Marcus Massey. We've got timeout on the floor with 4.56 to go. It's the 
Bernie Buell 60, Richland Rebels 53. We'll be right back. Skeeter Kale Sporting Goods, call Kenneth Store at 888 or Lloyd Rice at 576-4471. Nike, Adidas, Russell, any and all kinds of major brand names in your favorite sporting goods. New location in Kenneth at 1300 Industrial Drive. That's Skeeter Kale Sporting Goods in Kenneth. We're wearing vests tonight from Skeeter Kale. Give them a call or stop by the Kenneth Store for all your sporting goods needs. This game brought to you by your friends at New Wave Communications. New Wave is the local leader in communication and entertainment needs. Digital cable, telephone, high-speed data from one source. Call New Wave today to find out how you can save even more by bundling digital cable, telephone, and high-speed data. Glad you joined us tonight. This has been a dandy. Richland Rebels down by as much as 15 po or 17 points. Now they're starting to come back, chipping away at that lead. They've Cut it uh, from 17 to 7 with 4.56 to go. There's plenty of time. The press has really bothered the Mules, but they did that with Massey on the bench. Now Massey back in the game. Massey can handle the ball. He adds stability to this young Bernie team. Massey has not scored in this quarter. And Richland started hitting their free throws in this quarter. They have shot 10 free throws, and they've made uh, seven of them. They were. They were three for nine prior to that, so you can see if they could have just picked up another three or four of those, they could have been right in this game. They're still in it, down seven. Trover to inbounds, gets it to Welch. Welch with the ball quickly down to Dill. Dill's going to put it to Curry. Nice. Passing that time by the Mules. Great pass by Silas Dill to Zach Curry. Breaks the drought for the Mules. Mules back up by nine. Whitaker with the ball to Foster. He gives it to Harris down in the corner. Skips it out to Stafford. Tries to go inside to Thornton. Ball taken away by Marcus Massey. He's going to go in. Stops. Pops. Scores. Marcus Massey, his first two of the quarter, 27 in the game. And he did not go on in. He just stopped, went straight up with a jump shot and stayed away from the charging foul. Foster with the ball to Whitaker to Harris. We're down to 410 to go in this game, 64-53. Bernie back up by 11. Whitaker with the ball. Gives it to Stafford. Stafford over to Harris. Harris skips it out to Foster. Foster going to put up a three. Short, rebounded or uh, taken down by Trover. Trover down the floor. We're now under four minutes to go. Curry with the ball to Welch. Bernie in no hurry. They've got the 11-point lead. 3.45 to go. Massey handling the ball. He's going to drive, puts it up, scores it. Marcus Massey, four and a quarter, 29 a game, having a stellar ball game tonight. Back up by 13 over the Mules with three and a half minutes to go in this game. Whitaker with the ball. Massey came back in. Bernie picked it back up. Whitaker with the ball to Foster. Foster to Stafford. Stafford likes to work the baseline or inside. He doesn't like the three-point shot. Whitaker with the ball is going to put up a jump shot from 12. Short, Stafford to rebound, puts it up, scores it. We got a timeout on the floor. As Stafford gets his fifth of the quarter, he now has 17 in the game with 3.10 to go in this ball game. It's the Bernie Mule 66, the Richland Rebels 55. We'll take a short break and be right back with you. D&D Trucking is located at Highway 60 and Double F, just north of Essex. Donnie and Tish Foster are the owners. D&D Trucking uses end tubs and hopper bottom trailers. D&D Trucking specializes in grain, fertilizer, lime, and rock hauling. Personalized, dependable, and reliable service, that's D&D Trucking in Essex. Give them a call at 573-283-5550. D&D Trucking in Essex. Well, we wish we had somebody here to warm up the truck so it would be warm when we get ready to leave because <laughs> we know it's going to be cold when we go out. But it's been warm in here tonight. We've seen a good one. Both teams really hustling, and one team gets uh, – our Bernie Mules get way out front. Richland Rebels keep clawing back into this game. Rebels keep fighting their way back in, and they've done a good job. 
Casey Knight, his first year as head coach here at Richland, doing a tremendous job. We, uh, I know uh, Terry Turnington, Jim Hall, Tommy Jacobs, and myself, when we were up at the uh, uh, Christmas tournament at Bloomfield, we uh, were very impressed. Uh, they, they lost their first game against Greenway, which everybody thought they would, got uh, blown out uh, by close to 50 points. Then they come back and they beat Haytai, and then they beat uh, another team, then they beat Kennett. Uh, with the last second shot by Nick Harris to win the Constellation Championship. 16 seed team, wins three of four games there. Seems like that just gave them a little momentum, a little fire, and they've been going ever since. Deal with the ball, and we're going to have a on the line, foot on the line, ball turned over to the Richland Rebels with 3.07 to go. Miller into the game. Gives the ball to Whitaker. Stafford getting a blow. Whitaker's going to put up a three. No good. Rebounded by Massey. Massey's going to handle the ball himself. That's what's good about him. He's 6'3", and he can still handle the ball, although he plays post most of the time. Bernie going to spread the floor. They're going to go to a weave and look for the layup. They're very good at this. Welch has it. They get the layup or a backdoor cut. Guys open. They give it to him. If not, they just go with it. Two and a half, two minutes, 35 seconds to go. Curry with the ball, goes inside. We're going to have a charging foul on Zach Curry. Got a little too big of a hurry there. No opening. He runs over the defensive man. Doug Johnson in. Curry out for the Mules with two and a half minutes to go. 66-55. The Rebels definitely need a basket. Jevin Pierce back in. Jake Welch out for the Mules. Dalbert with the ball. He's in for the Rebels. Looks for somebody to throw to. Gives it out to Whitaker. Whitaker going to work on Pierce. Going to put up a jump shot. Oh, I thought it was going, but no good. Uh, rebound that time. Thornton put it up. No good. Ball tipped around. Doug Johnson on the floor with the rebound. Gives it to Marcus Massey. Massey gives the ball to Trover. Bernie in the front court. Back to Massey. Two minutes to go. Pierce with the ball. Dalbert's on him. Trover has it. We're in the weave. Dill has it. We got a takeaway, but it's going to be a foul. Foul on the Richland Rebels. Going to be on Nick Harris. Going to be his third. Next two fouls away from going to the one and one are the Bernie Mules. Minute 50 to go. 66 55. Bernie in no hurry. They'll take the open shot. They don't have to score. They're up by 11. Massey is going to handle the ball. Nobody's on him. Richland in that half-court trap. We're going to have a foul on Landon Miller, his fourth. Team six, the next foul by Richland will send the Bernie Mules to the, to the line for a one and one Richland's in the double bonus if they get fouled. Ball thrown in the backcourt to Trover. Ball to Massey. Massey to Dill. Dill saves it from going out of bounds. Nice hustle there. Massey with the ball to Trover. To Doug Johnson. To Massey. Massey fakes the three. Bernie, good ball movement right now. 120 to go in the game. Pierce with the ball. Still has it. Gives it to Massey. Massey to uh, Doug Johnson. Down to 110 to go. Bernie milking the clock. Pierce inside the lane. Gives to Massey. To Johnson. And Johnson's going to be fouled by Nick Harris. It's going to be his fourth. The line to shoot a one and one will be Doug Johnson. Johnson's not been to the line tonight. He has three threes. He has nine points in this game. One oh two to go in the game. 62 seconds. Bernie on top by 11. Free throw up, will not go. Rebounded by Miller. Miller to Harris. Down to one minute. Richland needs some points, and they need them quick. Whitaker with the ball. Tries the baseline. Goes up, puts it up. It's going to be fouled. Whitaker's going to go to the line to shoot two. Foul is going to be on Marcus Massey. That's going to be his fifth. 
Massey leads this game with 29 points. What a game he had tonight, folks. A game he could be very, very proud of. Zach Curry coming in for Marcus Massey. After the first free throw, Jake Wilch will check in for someone. We don't know who yet. Whitaker with uh, four and a quarter. He has 16 in a game. He's had a nice game tonight. Free throw up, scores it. And he gets the bonus. Welch in for Pierce. 48 seconds to go. 66-56. Second one in and out, but Thornton with a rebound. He's going to put it up and scores it. Drew Thornton fault for that one. Welch with the ball, across the timeline. He's going to go down in the corner. It's going to be fouled by Drew Thornton. That's his fourth. Thornton now has 11 in the game. Jake Welch to the line. He's going to shoot a one and one Chevin Pierce in for the Mules. Out is Doug Johnson and Eric Foster in for Landon Miller. Welch has not scored in this game. He goes to the line to shoot a one and one Played a great floor game, though, for the Mules the time that he's been in there. Only a freshman. First shot short. Sh shot is short. Deal with a rebound on the floor. The ball kicked out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Mules. Deal will inbound to Zach Curry. We're down to 30 seconds to go in the game. To Welch in the corner. Going to have a foul on Nick Harris. That's going to be Harris's fifth foul. Harris is going to leave this game with 13 points. Nick Harris has had a good ball game tonight. Well, they're saying the foul now is on. Uh, yeah, the foul is on Harris. It's going to be his fifth. We'll get a nice hand from the Richland Rebel fans. Coming into the game is Dustin Burdine. He's a junior for the Rebels. 27 seconds to go, 66-58. Welch the line to shoot a one and one. Last time he was there, he missed his first one. This one up, scores it. Bernie back up by nine with 27 seconds to go. Second one scores it. Whitaker with the ball. Quickly down the floor for the Rebels. Foster with the ball to Thornton. Thornton working inside, gives it to Justin Darvin, and he uh, put up a three and did not go. Foul that time going to be on Silas Dill. Going to be his fourth going to the line. To shoot two for the Rebels is going to be Dustin Burdine. First free throw up will not go. He'll get the double bonus now. Doug Johnson in, Silas still out. With 16 seconds to go, Bernie on top of 10. Second one up, scores it. Johnson with the ball. Gives it to Welch. Welch to Pierce, to Trover. Trover's going to be fouled by Justin Dulbert. It's going to be his second to the line to shoot two. The double bonus will be Tyler Trover. Trover has four points tonight, but he's picked up two big charging fouls that we remember and a host of loose balls, which he always does. His first free throw up, scores it. Preston Owens in for the 
Bernie Mules going out is Jake Welch with seven seconds to go. Bernie Mules are going to win this game and go to 11-9 on the season. Second one up, scores it. Richland Rebels will go to 9-11. and 11. Whitaker with the ball, goes in, lays it up. As the horn goes off, Whitaker gets his seventh point of the game. He now ha- and he end up with 19 for the night. Final in this one, 70-61. Bernie Mules defeat the Richland Rebels 70-61. We will be right back in just a minute for the final stats. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. We have the final stats of this game between the Bernie Mules and the Richland Rebels for the uh, victorious uh, Bernie Mules. Uh, Marcus Massey with 29 points, a a great uh, uh, game by Marcus Massey. Zach Curry with 14, uh, 9 to Doug Johnson, 6 to Tyler Trover and to Jevin Pierce, 2 each to Jake Welch, Silas Dill, and Preston Owens. Total 70 points for the Bernie Mules. They were 11 for for 17 from the free throw line. For the Richland Rebels, we had... uh, Cameron Whitaker with 19, uh, Nick Harris with 13, 17 by Tommy Stafford, 11 by Drew Thornton, 1 by Dustin Burdine at 61 points. uh, Richland Rebels 11 for 23 from the line. Again, the Bernie Mules go to 11 and 9 on the season, and the uh, Richland Rebels go to 9 and 11. Uh, JV game, Bernie victorious over the Richland Rebels, 52-39, so double victory for the Bernie Mules. Again, uh, we want to thank... Kim Stokes for coming in and doing our uh, camera work for us tonight. Uh, We also uh, look forward to getting Tommy uh, Jacobs back with us Friday night. And uh, as we uh, go to Bernie, we will be going live for the homecoming game between the Bernie Mules and the Bloomfield Wildcats. We will be doing the, uh, we will also be doing the uh, homecoming festivities following the uh, basketball game. So uh, again, get out to the uh, game and uh, then go home and we'll replay that game for you about 10 o'clock uh, Friday night and we'll replay it Sunday also. Again, uh, for Kim Stokes, I'm Bill Hampton. Thanks for joining in. Put those seat belts on out there because we want to see you back with us uh, at other broadcasts. And don't forget, live today, learn from yesterday, and look forward to tomorrow. <laughs>